Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. We are going to study geography. Paper 2. The topic is population distribution, growth, characteristics, and problems in selected regions in the world. Part 2 of 2. Factors that influence population distribution. Physical factors, climate, heavy and even a distributed rainfall and hot temperatures, favor high population, low rainfall, discourage high population growth, vegetation cover. The dense tropical rainfall region discourage settlement. The savanna grassland areas encourage moderate settlement because it is suitable for animal grazing and it is easy to clear and cultivate crops. Hide areas with no vegetation cover discourage settlement. Altitude. Very high altitude areas over 50,000 meters above sea level discourage settlement due to steep slopes. Low oxygen, for example, the tops of mountains like Kenya, Kilimanjaro, Renzori, and so on. Areas with moderate altitude receive high rainfall, which favor crop farming, and this encourages settlement. Very low altitude, for example, lift valley flow areas receive low rainfall and has low population distribution. Areas with fertile soil has a high population. For example, the source of Lake Victoria, the volcanic islands of Ethiopia, Kenya, Rwanda, and Burundi. Low fertility of soil discourage settlement. Drainage. Well drained areas, for example, along the Nile Valley of Egypt, have large population compared to poorly drained areas. For example, around the Niger Delta, have low population. Pests, all diseases, and wild animals. Areas with high disease rate. For example, Miyombo woodlands in western Tanzania have low population. Wairo areas with low disease incidence have high population. Effects of natural hazards. Areas with landslides, volcanic eruption, earthquake, flooding, discouraged settlements compared to areas with less natural disasters. Factors that influence population distribution. Human factors, historical factors. For example, Slave trade depopulated some areas in Central Africa. Presence of employment opportunities. Areas with high employment opportunities attract high population. Presence of industries lead to large population. Development of towns also lead to rural urban migration and cause high population in the cities. For example, Cairo, Lagos, Nairobi, Kinshasa, Johannesburg. Government policy can also encourage or discourage population distribution. For example, allocation of administration centers and the irrigation schemes will attract high population. Allocation of some areas to national parks 
and the forest reserves will discourage settlement. Presence of transport and communication facilities. Areas with sound transport and communication facilities attract large population compared to areas with poor transport network. Strategic location. For example, areas along the coast promote trade and these attract high population density. Political climate. Politically stable areas will attract high population. For example, South East Nigeria, as opposed to politically stable areas such as Northern Nigeria, Somalia, and so on. Causes of population explosion. Polygamous practices, for example, Muslims in Nigeria lead to high population because marrying many wives leads to production of many children. Reduced infant mortality rate due to improved medical services such as immunization. High fertility rate among women can lead to high population. Low level of education leads to high population because women will start producing at early age and will produce more children compared to educated women who produce at a late age and produce fewer children. Limited family planning education and facilities result in a high population growth rate, reduced maternal mortality rate due to better health care such as antenatal care. Government policy that encourage high population to develop a strong market base for agriculture and industrial goods. Increased life expectancy due to improved medical facilities. Immigration, especially from rural area to urban area. Political stability. Stable places will have high population compared to unstable places. Positive contributions of high population. High population provides local market for agriculture and industrial outputs. A big population is a source of cheap labor necessary for development of agriculture and industrial sector. High population is a source of government revenue through taxes on their labor. High population provides security such as in the army, police, prison, and so on. High population leads to exploitation of resources in agriculture, fisheries, and industries. Negative contributions of high population. High dependence burden. High population strain social facilities like schools, hospitals, and so on. High population results into high cost of living in terms of accommodation, education, health care, feeding, and so on. High population results into percentation in the congested cities such as Mumbai, New Delhi, and so on. High population results into an increase in the crime rate such as human organ trafficking, drug abuse, theft, and so on. High population causes unemployment due to too many people 
chasing few existing jobs. High population leads to insecurity and unrest due to competition for limited resources. High population results into food scarcity and malnutrition. High population promotes spreading of diseases. High population leads to land shortage and environmental degradation. High population leads to increased government expenditure on social services. High population leads to dependence on foreign aid from developed countries such as USA and loans from World Bank for infrastructure development. Steps being taken to solve the problem of rural urban migration in the tropical Africa. Provision of social services to villages such as schools and health facilities. Rural electrification to encourage the development of industries and employment in the rural areas. Improvement of water supply in the rural areas. Improvement of security to rural areas. Political stability. Extension of affordable quality facilities to rural areas. Population control. Decentralization of government departments in order to create employment in the rural areas. Population problems in developing countries like Uganda. There is a food shortage to support the increasing population. High levels of unemployment. Poor standards of living. For example, shortage of food, medical services, and so on. Overexploitation of natural resources. Rural urban migration leading to congestion, high crime rates, prostitution, theft in the urban centers. High dependence burden is high level of brain drain. As the population increases, more people leave the country to look for green pastures. High level of rituals due to low level of education facilities. Political instabilities in the form of civil wars and struggle for limited social services. Possible solutions to the population problems in developing countries. Family planning to reduce the rate of population growth. Encouraging higher education, putting emphasis on female education. Adopting production policies aimed at increasing food supply to reduce on food strategies. Putting in place policies that discourage rural urban migration. Rural development policies aimed at making rural areas attractive. Disease control measures, health program should be set up to educate people on how to control and reduce the spread of disease through primary health care, legalizing abortion as a way of controlling unwanted pregnancies and population growth. Thank you so much for listening to this video. If you have liked the video, please subscribe to enable us to produce more videos.